Now we are halfway, and the next finalist has come a long way, the furthest of anyone tonight, and it's our winner from Hong Kong, Dong Ding Li. A master's student of environmental en engineering and management in Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Ding's semi-final talk about why smiling makes you likeable proved its own point by making the judges like Ding enough to send her through to tonight's final. But will she be grinning broadly in a few minutes' time? A big smile and a bigger hand, please, for our Hong Kong champion, Ding Li. <laughs> We like dancing? <laughs> Me too. But have you wondered why we, every time we listen to rhythm, we kind of like moving our body? And it's kind of weird, like it's instinctive to humans and it's rarely fine in other animals. And more interesting is that it is actually dominated by anticipation, not reaction, you know, like we don't react to the beat, we predict it. And we human use often express our perception of this with our rhythmic movement. But why do we move to the beat, you know? According to Dr. A. D. Padesh, this is actually because our brain motor system links to our auditory cortex, which form links, and this underprint our, our ability to dance. And also, when we listen to rhythm, our cerebellum is stimulated, and this is the region that is involved with timing and coordination of movement. So every time you listen to rhythm, you dance. But, one, but why do humans evolve to move to the beat? Why do humans evolve to dance? Now, this brings us back to a long time ago when we were all like, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> And because this is because the ability to dance is actually linked to the ability to survival. And why I say that? Obviously, dancing makes dancing get you late. <laughs> right? And it was Charles Darwin that first proposed that dance help us in selecting our best mates. And good dancing actually displayed our quality in symmetrical coordinated and rhythmic, and this is often linked to survival. And when these individuals survive, they reproduce, and we're all offspring of good dancers. <laughs> Besides, our prehistorical ancestors is actually used dance to c communicate and bond with each other, so they would be like, ho, 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 like, yeah, so, Early humans who are more coordinated, more rhythmatic, actually have better evolutionary advantages. And the ability to synchronize with rhythmic, bit, with rhythmic beats is actually result from a change in brake structure driven by evolution. So next time when you get on the dance floor, someone asks you, oh, whoa, where you got that move? Tell them, just by a million years of evolution, baby. <laughs> that was fantastic, the evolutionary origins of dance, I love it. Um, I'd like to ask a question though, is there a possibility that this may not be an adaptation? This may not. Is there a possibility that this could be an evolutionary spandrel? But actually this is not a really adaptation, it's like we're select, like natural selection, we select the best dancer in our community and those are the, the best ones that can reproduce and we're all like we're born to be a dancer, like we're born to dance. So it's not really <laughs> adaptation, so, yeah. But it's an adaptation which has come about through sexual selection, you're, you're arguing. Is there, what I'm asking is, that, is yeah. there, could there be another reason for it? Could it just be an oh, emergent yeah, actually, property there because is, of there something is. else? Yeah, there is. I'm glad, so glad you asked that. <laughs> yeah, because actually a recent study shows that uh, the ability to move to the bit is actually linked to the ability in verbal learning, like par like this, we only, s like so far, parents and humans who know, who learned verbally, like we 
yeah, for Polanyi. They are the only animals that we actually move to the beat. You listen, you hear the rhythm, and then you move it to the beat. And it, it is suggests that maybe moving to the beat, like you exp how you predict rhythm, help us to learn how to speak, learn language, verbally communicate with each other. And this is also one of the reasons, other than like having sex and ho ho ho, ho <laughs> dancing with each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's fascinating this uh, relationship between uh, what we consider as beautiful or uh, interesting yeah. with what happens in our brain and I just want to ask you uh, a, a very quick question there's a connection between music and, and rhythm yeah. yeah is that also wired in the brain yeah that is true actually why we love dance so much other than rhythm is music because music stimulates our brain reward system and make and also because the reward system is closely linked to motor region. And that's why when you listen to music, like rhythm slash music, and then you will be like instantly connected to your motor region, which makes you want to dance. Okay. Yeah. Okay, please clap your hands rhythmically and go all tingly for Ding Lee.